Well, the damage from flooding in parts of Lee County is so bad it has many wondering if certain businesses might ever reopen. Others have been forced to evacuate their homes and the damage could be so extensive that repairs won't be possible. lex 18's Michael Burke spent the day in Beattyville where the water is still being measured in feet. It's tonight's big story at 530. If pictures don't do it justice, then how about a boat ride down Main Street in Beattyville? Does this put it in perspective? This small town is in utter shambles right now, thanks to flooding from Sunday's storm. In all my time here, I've been here almost 25 years and, and have never seen water in, in this situation. No. Home and business owners with losses that they might never be able to recoup. I feel for these folks and, uh, you know, they're, we're, we're a community, they're family. I mean, that's, that's, that's the way it is. And they'll have to band together, perhaps like never before because recovery here is being measured not in days or even weeks. I think we're talking months at least. Yeah. Um, you know, it's going to be hard to tell until the water actually gets down and we actually can get in these buildings and look and see what damage we have. And that's just the business owners. Judge Executive Chuck Caudill has been on the scene round the clock here. From my perspective, the, the most devastating thing for most people here is they've lost their homes. To that end, he's asked for and been promised help from our U.S. Senators. A FEMA disaster declaration can make that happen, but this isn't something you can just throw money at and hope it goes away. This will alter lives, and it's now an episode that won't ever be forgotten. In fact, it'll be used as a point of comparison going forward. They're comparing it to the flood of 1957. It's three feet greater than the flood in 84, and the only flood that surpassed that on record is the one in 1957. Easy to confirm with just a short boat ride down Main Street. In Beattyville, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.